Cool, so I'm here with uh, Joe, who's a member of our mobile team in London. And I got some interest in uh, announcements coming out and uh, experience using gear, so I wanted to chat with you a little bit and share that with the audience. Can you uh, introduce yourself? Right, hi. Um, so uh, I'm Joe Warns. Um, I work on the mobile team in London. Um, specifically, I'm the tech lead for the mobile Picasa side of stuff. Uh, we launched a iPhone version of, uh, of the application uh, just before Christmas and we're now looking at what other cool things we can do based on a lot of feedback we've received from the user community. Cool, yeah, I've been uh, using the iPhone app over the Christmas and stuff, it's really nicely done. Thank you. So uh, what about the, uh, the Windows Mobile side, what have you done there? So we're looking at launching for Windows Mobile uh, very shortly. Um, the Pocket Internet Explorer has got a lot of ajax type capabilities and we really want to use those. Um, uh, specifically, we're I think the new feature in this, in this version is the ability to view albums offline and we're using the uh, mobile version of Google Gears to do this. Cool, so um, mobile version of Google Gears, so already you can use Gears in Windows Mobile, is that the only mobile thing so, you use it in? Yeah, so, so uh, this first release of Gears will be supporting Windows Mobile only, but then who knows what will happen after that. Okay, cool. So uh, what are you actually using in Gears for this Picasso app? Um, so, Getting the whole of the Picasso thing working offline was quite a challenge um, and we, as we did it we found more and more uh, problems we came across. Um, so first of all we need to be able to have the complete UI um, loaded instantly so when the user goes to Picasso and they don't have any connectivity then they still get you know, all the HTML, the JavaScript, CSS, the, the, the images that make up the application um, and to do that we use Gears Managed Resource Store. Um, and then on top of that, we obviously need some sort, some form of local persistence, so users can uh, can see uh, uh, what albums they have offline. So um, we use obviously for that Google's database. Um, that works really well. As as users are browsing around the site, they click albums or photos, uh, and it will copy the metadata into the local database. Um, one problem though is that we couldn't actually get photos into the database or rather we can get photos into the database but you can't easily serve a, serve a photo on the screen from the database. Okay. So for that we used to use the, the resource store in Gears. This is not the managed one, this is one where we programmatically control it. So whenever, whenever we want to access a photograph offline, we go and fetch it into the, into the resource store which acts as a kind of cache-like thing. Um, and then the next time the user uh, sees that photo, it will be served from the, from the local device, making it very fast and it can work fully offline. So um, those were some interesting challenges. Um, and then finally we, uh, we had some cross-domain issues um, for a variety of reasons, both performance and uh, security reasons. Um, Picasso will serve images from Different different domains than the than the core application. Right. Um, a lot of this is to speed up the uploading, uh, the, sort of the downloading of photos. Um, most browsers will only download two uh, two images at a time, or as a, a limited number of images at a time. So by spreading the, the images across multiple domains, we improve the download speed. So like images one, images two, images three, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Now this is all great, but unfortunately, um, gears uh, as you'd expect. Uh, maintains a single domain uh, policy for security reasons. Um, but the, the latest version of, of Gears, the 0.2 release, um, which, is, um, which is what the mobile release will be based on, uh, now has some capabilities to allow, uh, to allow um, uh, uh, resources to be stored offline. And we do that using the worker pool. Very cool. So uh, what's the performance like of uh, Gears running on this little mobile device? Well, obviously it's not going to be as good as it is on the desktop, um, but it's a hell of a lot better than doing it over the phone. Um, you really notice how painful um, using web applications are over mobile networks. Um, you know, some people are lucky, to have, uh, lucky enough to have 3G, but most of the people don't. You know, we're using slower things like Edge, GPRS, and sometimes things even slower than that. Um, so particularly for a, a photo browsing type application, it makes a huge difference just fetching all the images from, from the local store and browsing around. There's still a few issues we're working on, mostly the actual speed of rendering things on, uh, in, in the web browser. Um, you can see when you're doing complicated UIs, you, see, um, you, you can see the page jumping all over, uh, all over the place a bit. 
Um, but, you know, we'll work on that and the, the phones are getting better all the time. Cool. And so, like, SQL, like, this full SQL database runs pretty good on this little mobile phone? It works surprisingly well, yes. <laughs> it, it is, it's wow. a full-blown SQL database, you know, we're using selects and subselects and all kinds of stuff like that, um, just from JavaScript on a, a little phone. So now you've been playing with gears on the, the mobile device, which is which is newer. We've been focused more on the web browser. Uh, what are things that you like to see added into gears to enable more things on the mobile? Well, ideally, I'd like it so that I can build all the kind of apps I'd like to do just from the web browser without having to resort to things like Java or ME. Um, there's a lot of cool functionalities in, in particularly in mobile phones that um, that people are carrying around. Is that they're very sophisticated devices, so you can see things like GPS built in. Um, you're seeing things like cameras and stuff, and a lot of these things have got some pretty good graphics capabilities. So, for instance, I'd like to be able to find out where I am from a web application. I'd like to not only be able to access um, photos that have been taken with the camera, but actually control the camera itself, maybe see it in screen, do, you know, use, use the zoom uh, through JavaScript. Um, uh, doing, using, using the graphics manipulation to do things like cropping images, adjusting red eye, changing color balance, those, those kind of things. So where can you find all of this good stuff? Um, if you go to mobile.google.com, you can find a list of all the mobile applications that are, uh, we have at the moment. Great. Thanks a lot, Joe. Thank you.